Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be another Anting in Northern Wisconsin video. Except, this one is going to be the most, you know, the best out of them all. I'm going to be out of my, making a part 2, hopefully. Uh, that's actually going to be recorded today, uh, when I go out today and try to find some ants. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video, and um, I'll stop talking and let you guys enjoy the video. Uh, so yeah, goodbye. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, as you can see, we are out again. This time it's actually shorts weather, not pants weather. Uh, yeah. A right, car passed by. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's shorts weather, not pants weather. So, that means that I'm out now. Uh, I'm gonna go see uh, what's going on at that uh, new place where I ended up catching the leptothorax, as you may have seen in a video recently. I got some Lepidothorax colony, so I'm going to go back to the same place and try to find more. Also, what might be flying, uh, if they even exist here, would be Pernalepis, but who knows if they even exist here, because I sure haven't seen them here before. So now we are here at the spot, maybe speaking a little bit quieter because, uh, well, cars are passing me. And, yeah, that's the main reason. Also, like, I'm right next to a major store. This is what I'm kind of looking for here. See this here? It kind of looks like this. Let's see if this is the actual plant. Oh, neat, neat trick. Yeah, this looks like the plant. So, I think this is it. Here's a better version of said plant, this stick here. Oh, there we go. And these harbor leptothorax, apparently. Not apparently, I know so. So yeah, pretty much that's what we're uh, on the lookout for. Uh, I'm going to be collecting these constantly. And then putting them somewhere in the clearing over there. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and start collecting. And I'll actually probably break a few open over there uh, once I'm done collecting them all. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll hear you back to you uh, then. Whilst uh, looking, I found uh, an old friend of mine. Uh, let's see, you want to focus? Yeah, hold on a minute. There we go. Old friend of mine, good old Formica. Uh, seeing as then I found just two workers chilling under a rock. Oh, there's more. A few workers on the ground here. I'm guessing it's Formica Obscure Ventress, which is very common near these kinds of areas. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll return when I find something better. Well, this certainly wasn't the time that I was expecting to catch uh, Nova Borakensis, but I caught a two queen founding colony of Campanas Nova Borakensis. As you may have seen on the channel, this is one of my favorite ant species ever, uh, at least native to uh, Wisconsin. And uh, I don't know if I'll keep her. I'll probably keep her, to be honest. I would love to have a second colony of these guys, just to uh, back up, just in case the other one ends up dying. So yeah, I uh, am really excited to actually keep this uh, another colony of these guys. You can see that beautiful ruby red on her right there. Absolutely awesome species. She is a little bit darker though. Actually, oh wait, no, never mind. Seeing that light reflect, never mind. She's one of the bright queens. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this catch. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue flipping these rocks. I found her under actually. Where is it? This rock here. Or well, there's a little uh, chamber here, and uh, she was under it. Overall, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'll continue flipping these rocks and see if I find anything else. So it appears as if, uh, right next to the founding chamber over here, we got an actual colony of Nova Borkensis in here. Which is kind of good that I collected her then, because she would definitely have not lasted very long. If I didn't move her, let's flip this here. Well, there's nothing under there. Yeah, so that confirms that uh, there is, in fact, Nova Borkensis in here. A bigger colony... Yeah, this is a little bit hollow, it sounds. Oh, and there's also stuff under this bark, too. Peeds. I'll show you. There's a big old peed in there. Can't really see it, though. Oh, wait, there she is. Big old peed. I would collect her, but I already have quite a few peeds, so I do not think I will need to collect her. There's only nothing under here. I don't really know what I've discovered upon, but... It's definitely a little interesting. 
This down tree has a lot of rocks on it, so I get—I bet this was placed here on purpose by someone, but I benefit from it at least. Right, so I just got the best catch of probably all year. This, you may, you may just look at these guys and just think, oh, well, yeah, these are just an average old, uh, what is it called? Myrmica colony, right? Well, no. These guys are Myrmica incompleta. A very polygynous, a very aggressive species of Myrmica that is native here in Wisconsin. They are pretty much what I describe as the, uh, the Myrmica rubra of North America. Besides from the invasive ones. We ignore those. And, uh, yeah. So... I feel pretty happy with this. I will eventually get you guys some better shots uh, in a coming video. I'm guessing it's featuring these guys. They were under this rock here. I pretty much collected the entire colony. It was a very small colony. So yeah, I guess I will continue onwards with my catcher. We ended up flipping another thing. We ended up finding a colony of Tapanoma sessile. Say we when it's only me. It's a pretty okay sized colony. I do not see the queen, and I'm not looking exactly to keep them, because I already have a colony of them. So, yeah. I guess, uh, it's not that interesting I'm going to find, but I guess I might as well document it. So I've changed locations uh, for anting, because I found a parasitic Laceus colony with a bunch of brood. Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. Let's move on. So yeah, I missed it, but as you can see, there's a lot of Formica subsurice here. And under this, as well, the, the Formica subsurice nest. But, uh, the entire colony was under here, queens and all. Couldn't get my bag out in time. Kind of crawling all over me. So this huge little pile of rocks here. Well, it's a little disappointing, but who knows, maybe I'll find another one. Well, I was really expecting to find this uh, species way later on, or earlier. But it looks like we got some Laceus neoniger. Don't know if you really can see it very well. They're all down there. Let's try to zoom in. There's a worker. Ah, oh, yeah, they all disappeared. That's great. Yeah, we just under this piece of rock here. Put it back. Yeah, I guess it will continue. So under a rock, that one right there, uh, I thought I found a, another founding Novoborkensis colony, but no, he was just this uh, poor, uh, failed founding queen. Uh, the reason why I thought that was because there were Myrmica. Where are they? There they are. Hold on. Ah, focus! I don't know if they're even there anymore. Oh yeah, she moved. And there she is. Yeah, there's there's Myrmica with this queen for some reason. Uh, I'm guessing she nested right next to a nest of them, and I so happened to flip it, and their nest was in the way. So yeah, a little unfortunate. All right, once again we got another one queen colony. There's the queen. Oh, she went on screen. But you can see her and her workers. I don't know how many workers I got in this one. Maybe about 20. Uh, it's another Myrmica incompleta colony. Which is, uh, honestly, today is just Myrmica Incompleta Day, apparently, because I just got another big old con colony of them. Well, not big, but it's a decent-sized colony. Maybe I'll give this one away to uh, one of my friends, probably T-Bone. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Don't know if you can see very well, but uh, here is a Ponera Pennsylvanica. Or, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Ponera. It's a relatively large-sized colony, too. Pretty cool. I at least got one queen, I know that. This rock area has just been a blessing, like genuinely. I haven't ever been able to catch a colony for a very long time. Uh, the first time I ever caught them was literally like, I don't know, spring of last year or so. So, not spring of last year, fall of last year. So, yeah. Because I'll continue looking. What I just collected is probably the brightest Nova War Kansas queen I've ever seen. Focus, please. I don't know if you can see the colors, but she is a really bright red. I didn't even know they got this bright red. I'm sure I'll get some photos later, but, like, she is absolutely beautiful. That is insane. 
Whoever gets lucky with this colony is, uh, whoever gets this colony is definitely going to be extremely lucky. Or my keeper, actually. I think I might keep this one. She's too beautiful to let go. Alright, I'm now officially leaving. Pretty much from, uh, let's see, where was it? Pretty much all the way down there. I went all the way pretty much over here. Completely just flipping every rock that I can. And I, in total, uh, caught two Panera colonies. Um, one Myrmica Incompleta colony. That was, uh, I actually ended up finding a second one, but it only had brood in it. Or, well, that's all they had at the surface. Um, did I even start over here? I didn't. So, like, from back there, about all the way here, I still have to flip. Right? Oh, no, I did start over here. Yeah, there's the thing. You know, how about just for old time's sake, before I leave, let's flip another one. Yeah, nothing. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, this one looks good. Hold on. It wasn't good. Alright, so that was pretty much all I got. I guess I'll put a list of what I caught here about, like right now. Or sometime later, you know, who knows. Maybe I'll troll you guys and just not post it there. <sighs> but yeah, today was a very successful day. I guess I got some new colonies for the collection. And some to give to my friends who are more fortunate to live farther south than me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the Instagram, check out the Patreon, check out, you know, whatever. But uh, this was a pretty tremendous time, to say the least. I got my entire, my, this is all just like vials. And I have another one in my backpack where the Campanatus Queens are. Yeah. Today was a rebounding success for the ant for anting today. I mean, this is the first day that everyone is waking up, or rather, second, second day. Yeah, definitely be uh, returning back here though. That pretty much confirmed for tomorrow to come back here, and uh, I guess I'll make a part two because uh, this is definitely deserving of a two-parter. I guess I'll put them out at the same day, so two videos. One one day, two two days, or a second the next day. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.